Every business is a, a lot of different businesses and certain aspects of Bravo and Brio restaurants, it's a real estate business, it's a real estate strategy. Um, when all of these uh, outdoor lifestyle centers were being built in the last 15 years, we kind of jumped on that bandwagon. So there was a little bit of, <clears throat> excuse me, real estate uh, strategy behind that, or, or uh, seize the day mentality. I suppose that's one of the aspects. Another might be design. Um, I wanted to be an architect growing up. I didn't get to do that. I get to design restaurants uh, to sort of vicariously fulfill that interest level, if you will. Um, uh, all of our restaurants are different. None of them are, we don't have a prototype. We, everything is uh, unique and, um, and so um, that would be another aspect. Um, uh, we've always had a kind of a continuous improvement philosophy on the food and trying to improve the quality of the food as well as the service but principally the food. There's so many aspects to running a restaurant and then there's so many aspects to running a restaurant company um, that um, you better be more knowledgeable than just about the food or the service. Or, you, know, you need to understand the business aspects. It's all about the guest, right? I mean, if they don't enjoy the experience, they're not coming back. I get teased when I go into a new restaurant or a restaurant under construction. I don't even go in the kitchen. I really don't care whether the tile's done right or the equipment looks perfect. I, I simply sit in the restaurant and I try to feel um, the space, honestly. It sounds a little kind of weird, but yeah. Um, one of the things I try to do is, you know, how would, we feel, how would a guest feel? Would I want to eat here? That's a big barometer. You know, would I feel comfortable coming here and, and, and being a part of this, um, the, this, this experience? Um, so uh, that's it. We do a lot of unique things from a design perspective as well as from a food perspective. Um, we do inside, outside bars. We have large terraces. We try to open our restaurants up to the outside like a retail store would. Um, we try to make it very accessible. I mean, that's kind of a word we use now a lot is the accessibility of our restaurant. We, we don't mind people walking in the restaurant in a lot of different ways. If they find their way through the terrace or find their way through the bar, uh, we don't care. We, you know, it, it's a little uh, controlled chaos that way, but that's okay. And social media is here to stay. It's not a fad, it's coming. Um, you, gotta, you gotta do it. Um, there's no question about it. We, We've tried to embrace it. We see it as a competitive advantage for us. Uh, we don't have the luxury of a national media campaign. So social media is a competitive advantage for us. It allows us to, to drive home um, our messages, uh, the, um, the um, Feed the America uh, program was amazingly successful. It blew us away the first week we raised I believe it was $70,000 at Brio and 50000 in Bravo, and that was in the first week. Um, it's gaining momentum. Uh, it's something that uh, we will do a lot more of in the future. Uh, number one would be people, uh, getting great quality people. Um, it's di more difficult now to get great employees, more get great management teams. A lot of the new uh, laws um, will make it more difficult for restaurant companies to um, um, continue to get the best quality people. Um, and that's uh, sort of just the nature of the business this, these days. So I'd say number one is that. I mean, this is a people business. We have 9,000 employees at Bravo and Brio restaurants. And, um, and that's a huge number for a $450 million sales company. So we're a very labor intensive industry. And so I'd say quality of people is numero uno. It's really something that we're focused on uh, and maintaining that, uh, that position or that edge, if you will, is, will be a challenge going forward. I mean, at the end of the day, I've always tried to practice a little humility in this business. This, we're not saving lives. We're not changing the world. We're not finding a cure for cancer. We're simply uh, trying to provide a little better restaurant experience and let people enjoy that um, and 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 so it's always been about what's best for the restaurant or what's best for the restaurant company as opposed to what's best for individuals um, sometimes you get what's best for individuals gets in the way of that I learned early on in the 
this is a people business and that to be successful you had to engage the, the souls of your people.